Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. In this video, we are going to be taking a quick look at how to install DWM and configure it a little bit so that we can actually make it work. So the first thing uh, you need to do is if you're doing this on a virtual machine, uh, make sure you have Arch Linux installed. I have Arch Linux, the base installed. It's not the latest one. I think it's two weeks old. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I need to do is I need to go and uh, change the font because it's very small. So for that, I'm going to use something called Terminus font. Let's go ahead and install this sudo pacman dash s and type in terminus font. Let's give our root password and install it. And once it's done, what we need to do is we need to go into this directory user share kbd console fonts. And here we have a lot of uh, fonts. Uh, one font we need to set is type in set font to actually set the console font. Uh, this is only going to work if you are working on the actual shell. If you're not into using any desktop environment, then it's going to make your life much easier. Uh, you don't really need to do it, but if you are feeling like this is a very small font, you can set the uh, terminus font. So type in set font ter dash t and 24 b dot psf dot gz and there we go so the font is much larger now so just type in set font uh er dash d24 b dot psf dot gz once you're done with that go into the root directory and clear the screen so now let's go ahead and install some actual applications because we don't have anything right now for that we'll type in sudo pacman dash s we need git because we need to actually clone all of the repositories that are required to uh, compile dwm uh, we also need d menu we also need xorg for an x display we need xorg x init xorg server we need nitrogen uh, we don't need to install any terminal if you are not into using st you can use alacrity or some other terminals but i'm going to be using the standard st terminal just to install it you can later change the default terminal if you want uh, we need pycom i will probably make a compost video later uh, we need pycom because if you want to add some kind of transparencies or opacities or i mean blur effects you need to have pycom so let's go ahead and uh, put that uh, the next thing you need to have is actually a browser so firefox and let's go ahead and hit enter and there are a lot of packages let's go ahead and hit enter hit enter and install them so it's going to install about 228 packages i forgot to add vim as well but i will add it once so uh, it's done so i'm going to just come back when it's done all right so everything is done the next thing we need to do is uh, let's go ahead and install vim as well so man s vim and good text editor because we need to edit a file to actually start dwm it's going to clear the screen you can use nano if you want but i don't like nano so let's go and get started the next thing we need to do is we need to um get clone some stuff or, or we need to clone some repositories so we'll do git clone it's gdps colon slash slash git dot suckless dot org slash dwm so dwm is what we're going to be using today and we also need d menu for actually launching some applications so we'll do up arrow and then d menu we'll remove dwm and put d menu um you can use your own d menu if it exists but I'm going to use the standard ones because, because I don't have any. And we also need SD, which is actually the build of the terminal. You can use your build if you want as well. So we need three of these repositories. And once they are done, we should be good to go. Let's go and clear. Now, 
we need to go into the DWM folder. If you type in ls, we have three folders, D menu, DWM, and ST. We need to go into D men, uh, DWM first. You can go to whatever you really want. And with uh, root privileges, we type in sudo make clean install. And it's going to compile it. And once it's done, go type in cd dot dot slash D menu. And it's going to go up and folder into D menu. Type in sudo uh, make clean install and do the same thing for st as well. So cd dot dot slash st sudo make clean install and it should be done. All right, so we did most of the uh, configuration. The next thing we actually need to do is we need to install another one it's known as it's going to a root directory so sudo pacman dash s xorg x init we will also install cmake base devil for all of the compiler tools let's go and install all of them so only five packages that's not too large at all and what the base devil is it's just a tool or a package that can be used for getting different compilers so if you're using something like source code to compile all of your programs then you can uh, you need to install base devil all right so once you're done the next thing we need to do is we need to create a file right if it's already created then you don't need to create it again but type in this command vim x init rc and in vim type in i to go into insert mode and type in execute dw like that and i think i installed all of them let's go and do a quick reboot and it's going to do a reboot let's go into arch linux and if you did everything correctly then we should be able to enter into dwm so we have a tty prompt Let's go ahead and log in. And let's type in start x. And let's see whether it's going to work. And there we go. We have DWM. Everything is working pretty well. So as you can see, we have uh we don't really have any background. Hit Alt P, get a D menu, Alt Shift Enter to get uh, the actual st terminal hit ctrl shift page up to increase the font alt shift c to close and there we go now before we wrap up this video i need to change two things uh, the things that i want to change is the um the actual font of the system and also i need to change the modifier key because let's be real we don't really use the alt key as a modifier key so we want to use the windows key uh, for that let's go and hit alt shift enter Control shift page up and let's go into the dwm folder now we can put this dwm st and d menu in the user share folder uh, but for simplicity of this video i'm actually putting them inside of the root folder it doesn't really matter if you are actually putting it in any other folder but make sure it's protected because we actually need them when you want to change something you need to be really sure that you want you don't delete any of these folders so inside of dwm if we do an ls we have all of these files so let's go ahead and configure some files the first one is config config.h so if you go here we actually see that it's an C file. Uh, this is an C header file, if you all know how C works. So let's change the actual font. If you go into static const pointer fonts, uh, you actually need to change that to monospace colon size 30 to or 10 to 30 and 14, like that. Now you can add more than one font because as you can see, it's an array of fonts. And here we want to add the D menu font, which is the actual D menu that we installed. It's an application launcher. Let's go ahead and bump up to 13. The other thing that people really want to choose is actually their modifier key. 
So if we go into key definitions, we have defined mod key to be mod one mask. This is your alt key. If you want it to be a windows key or the super key, both are exactly the same, you change that to mod four mask. And you can change anything if you want, uh, the actual terminal, uh, some now the actual key bindings and other stuff as well. Once you are done, hit it, hit escape colon wq and we'll do wq and exclamatory mark we did not add pseudo privileges and let's compile this because if we change something in the dwm d menu st folder we actually need to compile it or recompile it again and now if we did everything correctly let's go and do a reboot so that everything could work correctly let's open arch and let's wait for it to come and let's go and log in as our home folder home user not home folder do start x going to launch dwm and there we go we have the font increased windows p is going to work windows shift enter is going to work control shift page up if you want neo fetch just pacman s neo fetch install it install neo fetch and open up bash or zsh rc if you're using zsh type in neo fetch and let's go ahead exit and type in source bash rc and there you go we have arch linux installed as you can see it's using only 180 megabytes it's really minimal uh, for minimal users it's perfect for you if you're that kind of user it's using dwm and yeah that's all there is for this video if you have any um, questions make sure ask them in the comment section below and also make sure you subscribe like the video and i will see you in the next one